in estate planning, it's important to do every legal thing to maximize the benefits and reduce the risks and taxes. Hey everybody, it's David Wiener, Mr. Cashflow. Today I want to talk with you about how cost segregation can be a very effective strategy in estate planning. If the grantor of a trust owns a building, their attorney can take a proactive approach by suggesting the owner of the trust performs a cost segregation study. The study will create a temporary tax deferral, which will become a permanent deduction when the owner passes away. Cost segregation allows an owner or investor in a building to break the components in a building apart and depreciate each one separately rather than all together. This creates shorter class lives for 20 to 30% of the building components. Shorter class lives create a larger depreciation expense, which creates additional cash flow. When real estate is inherited, the heir's new basis in the property received is stepped up to the fair market value of the property on the date of death. It's not based on the book value or based on the original cost basis when purchased by the decedent. Upon the passing of the grantor, there will generally be no depreciation recapture by the Internal Revenue Service. The tax deferral, which will become a permanent tax deduction upon the passing of the building owner, can create additional cash flow that can be used to create a gift for heirs in $15,000 increments without filing a 709 gift tax form. The $15,000 increments can be given to an unlimited number of individuals at any time. The limit is that each individual can only receive up to $15,000 only once in a given calendar year. However, if the gift is given to an individual in December, another $15,000 gift can be given to that same individual in January. The gifts will reduce the decedent's estate. Another often overlooked opportunity is to use the additional cash flow from a cost segregation study to be given without limits to a college or university on behalf of the heir or individual or be given without limits to a medical facility on behalf of an heir or individual. Let's look at how this opportunity can be used to reduce the estate tax. Say a grantor owns several apartment buildings, but the grantor is close to the end of his natural life. The owner has 10 grandchildren. He completes a cost segregation study in November of the year. He can then gift $150,000 on December 1st and another $150,000 on January 1st. This reduces the estate by $300,000 within one month. The owner can also fund the education of the grandchildren, $100,000 per child, on December the 15th. This reduces the estate by another million dollars. This strategy reduces the estate by $1.3 million within four weeks. The only challenge with this approach is that assets, in our example apartment buildings, may have to be sold to create the cash to be gifted. This can create a large long-term capital gain, which generally is not advantageous. However, a cost segregation study can create a large tax deferral. The owner can use the cash, which would have otherwise been paid to the IRS in January, to be used as gifts instead of selling the properties. This will reduce the estate, allow gifts to be given before the owner passes, and eliminate the need to sell assets, which will eliminate the long-term capital gains tax. And it won't be subject to depreciation recapture upon the death of the owner. To take advantage of this strategy, a cost segregation study must be completed in advance of the filing due date of the deceased's final income tax return. Once the deadline has passed, the opportunity has passed and will be lost forever as well. In addition to the above benefits, the heirs can then perform another cost segregation study on the inherited property and create another tax deferral for themselves.
For more specific information on cost segregation, or how to use cost segregation as an estate planning tool, or to get a no-cost preliminary analysis of the impact of a cost segregation study on a specific property or portfolio of properties that you may own, contact me directly at 770-224-8504 or go to davidwiener.costsegregationservices.com. If this video has been helpful to you, please click like on the video and share the video with others you may be saving them a lot of taxes. To subscribe to my YouTube channel, please click the button on the bottom of the screen, and for other cash generating tips and tricks, just click that button or join my blog at mrcashflowblog.com. Cash flow strategies. After all, it's your money. <laughs> Keep more of it. <laughs>